Hello everybody, Mark Trenches here. Just thought I'd do a a quick update on my um, Madagascan golden orb weavers. Uh, they're all molting like crazy at the moment. So this is what I've been waiting for. You can see the little molts down there. Uh, not really a significant change in size. Probably slightly longer legs, a little more leggier, the ones that I have molted. But um, what I'm going to do, so I've decided I'm going to put them in um, a big Exoterra enclosure. Um, now I'm going to let them all separate their own way inside that enclosure until they get a bit bigger. So this is going to be the um, the Exo Terra enclosure. It's the uh, tall borer one. So they're, they're still very small spiders. Um, so the idea is for them to disperse into this enclosure. Uh, in the wild, females can be seen in their orb webs, very close to one another, like neighbours especially in the suburban areas but what I'm going to do is not only am I going to put them in this enclosure um, let's just put them in now actually because the, the pot will be left in here with the uh, with the lid open with the lid off shall I say and what I'm going to do this is a purely experiment really instead of letting them just go all around the tank and trying to find parts to web wherever or willy nilly I'm going to try something out of, uh, I've got this frame which I'm going to put in the tank but basically this frame like I say it's pure experiment so we'll see what happens so the idea is hoping for them to uh, do little webs in the gaps there obviously until they get a bit bigger because uh, you see how small they are so that's the idea but we'll see what happens um, not say it's all sort of experiment at the moment so when they start coming out the tank hopefully they'll uh, take to the um, to this little little thing I've made here so yeah, I'll uh, keep you updated. Let's see if they use it and make their little webs. It'd be much easier if they do make their webs in here because I've just. It'd be so much easier to feed them. It'd be good if they're all lined up in there as well. <laughs> no, I might like that. They'd probably completely ignore it. But. It's a nice try something different. So, yeah. I'll leave you with that. Thank you for watching and I'll uh, be with you with an update. Hello everybody, this is uh, Mark Francis here. Um, so this is uh, the next day since I've put the uh, orb weavers in here. So as you see what I've done, I've turned the uh, tub on its side with the lid off. Some of them are still in, but overnight a few of them have come out. Them three there, they're in a little bundle together, in that little square. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's actually web everywhere. And on top of the frame, there we go. There we go. I have taken to the frame at the moment. Sorry about the shakiness, but because they're so small, and I'm only using my phone, this is the closest I can get about it, so you can actually see it. But yeah, they've webbed all along the frame. There's another one there, look. So this is exactly what I wanted. They still haven't, they still haven't made all webs yet. 
Um, just literally webbed along everywhere. But the good thing is, is the uh, little experiment so far is actually working. None of them's got out yet. Not that I know of. I've counted away eighteen. So some of them, a lot of them, still are in that tub. But uh, dead cricket in there. Don't seem to be interested in that. What I'll probably try and do is get some flightless fruit flies, maybe. Because they'd be completely harmless to the spider, and I might just sort of open the tub, let them all disperse out. But that seem interested in eating yet. Maybe another malt. But yeah, so um there you go. I'm happy to say they're uh, using the frame. Uh, see what happens next then. Thank you for watching.